Hello and welcome to another Amstrad Games review. Um, this one was a request by John Gage on YouTube. Um, yeah, he's requested Outrun. Now, I've not played this, to be honest with you. I have heard of its reputation. I, I know it's a driving game. I know that much. And if you've seen my Chase HQ driving, uh, my Chase HQ review, I should say. No cheats. Um, you know, I'm not a massive fan of driving games, but I did enjoy Chase HQ. Nice bit of music. Uh, graphics look a bit crap though. Now I'm not gonna lie. Saturday night I've had a couple of drinks and John did actually say, Oh well now would probably be a good time to play Outrun because it's that shit. So, you know, just this once. I will be doing a bit of drink driving. I do not condone that in any way, shape or form. But when you play an outrun, it's excusable. So, right, this was 1986. Oh, so that was before Chase HQ. Right, okay. Controls. Oh, right, so it's got the controls there. WSOP space. WSOP space, right. God, that's hard to read. And I'm sure it'd be hard to read if I was stone cold sober. Pause and restart. Restart. Restart for wimps. Uh, should we have normal traffic? Come on, let's get going. So I gather... Um, oh, God. Sorry if you heard that noise in the background. It was my cat jumping up. Uh, why am I not moving? Why? W. I did select keyboard, didn't I? Am I going crazy? Let's have a look. Look at that. After me saying restarts for wimps. First attempt, what have I got to do? Fucking restart. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, outrun. Right, but it's... Hang on. Two keyboard. Maybe I didn't press keyboard then. Right, here we go. What an absolute dickhead. Right. First appearances. The graphics are a bit crap. I mean, travelling at like two and... Oh my god, what is that? The sound effects, is it? The graphics are very blocky. There's a, That's just like a big expanse of green, isn't it? I'm not being funny, but... Oh, god, sorry, pressing the wrong colour. The wrong colour, the wrong key. Um, now I'm travelling at, what, 250 kilometres an hour? Now, I work in miles an hour, but I gather that's still pretty fast. And yet, the scenery doesn't seem to be coming at me any quicker. It just, the game doesn't seem to speed up at all. Um, I'm not sure, are you supposed to, oh God. I can't, right, 290 miles an hour. And I don't seem to be going that much faster than what looks like a VW Beetle. 
Now, come on now. Even after a few jars, that's not making sense to me. Um, what did I say it came out in? 1986. Right. Mm. Okay, so... I don't know. In terms of the graphics... Maybe, you know, I could sort of let it off a little bit. But why all the green? Could it not just have green at the grass at the sides and then have a grey road? You know, like everywhere else in the world has grey roads. It's just a big expanse of green. Um, it's just a bit boring. If I'm honest. I gather, I, I mean, like I said, I have, I've heard of Outrun, you know, from other people that have played it and reviewed it. And I gather a big criticism was um, the quality in terms of the arcade conversion. Now, I've, I've never played it in the arcade. I, I don't recall, oh shit, where am I going? I don't recall ever actually seeing the arcade version, so... I can't comment on that, do you know what I mean? But, oh, fuck off. Ah, oh, you bollocks. Uh, right. <clears throat> so, yeah, I can only comment, you know, on this game as it stands, really. can't see that I would spend a lot of time playing this. Now, I had a VIC-20 and there was a game on there called Race and I, I spent a lot of time playing that. I don't think I would spend that much time playing this, if I'm quite honest. It's just... It's boring. You know, there's... Like I said, there's just a big expanse of green. Um, no sound, a very little sound, I should say. Just that beeping, which I assume is supposed to be the squealing of brakes. You know, the, the beeping of brakes doesn't sound quite the same. Um, the detail that they've put, you know, like things at the side of the road, they're like, I don't know, I've seen they're like shacks, I don't know. And those, um, oh shit, palm tree things, well, it, it looks a bit like something I made with a toilet roll and crepe paper for Christmas. That's what it reminds me of. On the positive side, the controls are really good, actually. They... You know, they're dead smooth. Um, like I said on the Chase HQ review, um, they can be a bit sort of heavy on driving games, you know, trying to steer left and right. Um, and on Chase HQ, they were good, but e they are even better, I think, on this one. They're dead, it's dead light to control, but I don't know, maybe some people would think, yeah, that kind of takes away from the gameplay. It's... They may be a bit too easy, the controls, but it, it's just boring to play. I mean, you've got easy controls. You've got like 10 lanes to drive through, so there's not much. Do you know what I mean? It's, well, what do you do? Just drive around and don't crash into things. Um, I've got no idea. Oh, I was going to say, I've got no idea where the lap ends. That's it. So finished finished stage one. And is this stage two? Just it's the same, is it? Okay. So stage two. It's got different coloured mountains. It's not the same, Rachel. It has different coloured bloody mountains. Uh, 
God love us. <sighs> Fucking hell, it's... There's just no... Hang on a minute, and all those signs are pointing left and the bloody road's going right. I, I have to be honest, I think if I was playing this sober, it would be a bit boring. I've had a drink and I'm a bit dead on the inside, so this makes this game a little less painful, I think. See, now, hang on, these cars... They're driving off the road. They're just jumping. They're just jumping all over the place. Can you... See, he's driving like in a... Comp Fuck's sakes. Oh, yeah, they're awful. Never noticed on the last level, actually. But, the yeah, the other cars, they're just jumping all over the place. They appear out of nowhere. Look, you can see it appearing off the road on the left. Yeah. It's shit. Fuck here now. So, Jesus, don't tell me I finished that. Fuck here now. So, right, I'm on stage three with a nice shitty coloured road. But you see what I mean? It can't just have a shitty coloured road. It's got to have a shitty coloured everything. The whole fucking bottom half of the screen's shit. There's no... It's just a, a big expanse of shittiness. Crash into something. There's, there's no effect, you know, no sort of bits coming off your car or smoke or nothing, it's just, it just goes, eh, and, and you stop, that's it. Oh, crashed. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like a poor Chase HQ, a very poor version, and I do understand it came out um, what, three years before? I get that, but there's absolutely no reason to go back to it now. If you want to play a little driving game, play Chase HQ. <sighs> I need another drink after this now, so I, I can't even be asked finishing this level. I'm really sorry. So, I'm going to leave the review here now. So, basic thing is, don't play this. Play Chase HQ. Controls are good. That's about it, really. So, I'm going to finish it here. Thanks for watching. And have a lovely what's, rest, what's left of the weekend. Oh, my God. I'm really not pissed, am I? <laughs> See you later. Ciao.